said Brian. How much longer? said Dougal. I've got a crick in my neck. My left front foot's gone to sleep and my nerves are jangling. Absolutely jangling. Nearly finished, man. Have you caught the essential me? For Dylan was making a sculpture of Dougal. I uh, wouldn't want anyone to see it before it's finished. Do you think that notice will keep them away? Asked Dougal. Meanwhile, Florence and Mr. Rusty were talking. Uh, what do you think of the international situation? Said Florence. I try not to, said Mr. Rusty. Very wise, said Florence. I wonder where Zebedee is. And they called him. And he arrived. There's something creative going on in the garden, he said. Oh, said Florence. Oh, said Ermintrude. I can't begin to tell you what's going on here. Try, said Florence. Have a guess, said Ermintrude. Go on. You've jumped over the moon, said Mr. Rusty. Silly thing, said Ermintrude. I don't do that any more. And she went to see how Dougal's sculpture was coming on. Please, ma'am, said Dylan. It's not finished yet. We'll let you know, said Dougal. Oh, it's not finished yet, and they're going to let us know, said Ermintrude. Oh, the excitement of it all. Ha-ha, <laughs> tra-la, tra-la. What? said Florence. Secret? Dylan carried on working. Seven inches? Wow! What do you mean, wow? It's just like I, uh, I have to rethink the nose, man. It's uh, seven inches across. Like, uh, wow! That is an epic nose. Wow! Wow! It's nothing. Hello, hello, said Brian, much to Dylan's fury. He had to have silence while he was working, he said. So zip your screamer, said Dougal, rather coarsely. Oh, said Brian. Did you hear that? The train arrived. Dylan was in despair. Anyone want to go anywhere? said the train. I just want silence, said Dylan, slightly hysterically. You've upset him now, said Dougal. Well, I don't know, I'm sure, said the train. Open your mouth and you get your funnel bitten off. It wasn't like this in the sidings at Clapham, I can tell you. And she left. I have never known anything like it in all my puff she said. Ooh. Ah! Sorry, said Mr. McHenry. And Dylan said he really didn't know what he was doing anymore. No, doesn't look like it, said Dougal. <coughs> Hello all, said Mr. McHenry. Dylan lost control. He's lost control. Who's not to be disturbed? said Mr. Rusty. I can't go on, said Dylan. I can't. Something went on. I've something to say, said the clay statue. It's like uh, time for bed. <coughs> Babies. <coughs>